Yes, I am today at the Sports Bike Shop. It's Sunday. It's uh, very foggy. It's the weekend before Christmas. And I've come out... Where I've been going ever since I was a kid. One of the cities. I've probably travelled more here than anywhere else. Birmingham. Just down the road from Derby. And for work, always having to pop in to pick up bits, drop things off, and get uh, things done. It's not happening, is it? Uh, let's see. And did I did I buy anything? No, I have not bought a single thing. If just double check that. Uh, no, I have not bought a single thing from here at all. And let's get moving. Let's have a chat. Hello and welcome to the special Christmas edition. I'm putting this video out um, for two reasons. First reason I want to tell you about my plans for next year. What am I planning? And at the same time I wanted to ask your advice and support and see what everyone thinks. Um, so for my next year I've really got three options I was thinking about. My first option uh, I would like to do a trip around Spain. Um, hopefully 10 days, two weeks, something like that. It's, the Iberian Peninsula has been some thought, somewhere that ever since I read a book years and years ago about a man who after the war walked from the north of Spain to the south of Spain to Gibraltar. It was a book that really stuck with my mind and while I'm not planning to walk it, um, I thought it was a really, this would be something special to see and I've been going to Spain for so many years and I would like to see it in another way. So that was my first plan, my first idea. Um, my second um, idea or my second option is to get another bike. Um, I have the Transalp and the Bullet and the 125 at the moment. The 125 is going at some point. So what I really wanted was an off-road bike, something that I could push myself, something I could really develop myself with and somewhere, something that would allow me to explore and see new places. So that was my second option. Um, my third option, um, I have seen a lot of really interesting courses. The really cool course with KTM and even Honda Off-Road off offer something similar. Um, I could do something with KTM and then at the same time there's a couple of other really interesting courses that are about that I'd really like to do and could learn and develop from. If, and there should be hopefully enough money left in the kitty for um, some upgrades to uh, my Transalp. So that's the three things I really put out in front of me at the moment. Uh, so option one, a trip abroad. Option number two, a second uh, bike or rather a, an off-road bike. And my third option was to do some courses, keep the Transalp and upgrade it a bit and perhaps take a small trip. So those are my three options for next year, things I could potentially do. Uh, I'm still not sure and I'm still umming and ahhing, I still have a lot of decisions to make. Then there's always Covid, so we don't know what's going to happen or what new restrictions will come in. So, um, what do you think? Um, any advice you could offer? Anything you think would be quite interesting to do? Anything that maybe I've not thought of? Let me know, let me comment, contact me. But I really want to say thank you to everyone this year who's um, helped me start this channel, pushed me, supported me, and to every single one of my subscribers. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all your kind words, your generosity and support. I hope I can help someone else who's coming into biking just like me, perhaps make, avoid these mistakes I've made, or perhaps see things I'm starting to do that might help them in some way. I try to be honest, try to be open about myself. I try to um, put it out as it is, but especially I've been so thankful for all the people that I've met who've come out and really gone out their way for me. So I want to say a special thanks uh, to Saddlebags for befriending me and giving me so much support over the over the year. A special thanks to Extra Rider, who also on a Sunday morning went down to his garage and took his own bike apart and made special videos just for me to help me try and repair my broken bike when I was stuck in Cornwall. And I would like to say a special thank you to my riding buddy Pooley 650 check out his channel 
Um, Pooley has been the best friend um, thing buddy anyone could ask for. He's come out regularly whenever I was having my exams and tests. He's taken evenings off to especially come along to help me with my riding and to get me through my tests. If it wasn't for Pooley, I genuinely believe that I wouldn't wouldn't have passed. So really, Pooley, mate, thank you so much. You've been a superstar. Um, and especially to my teachers at Raven Motorcycle School in Derby, who have gone out their way and done so much for me, um, helped me to pass, but gone way beyond that. Um, helped me to learn about mechanics, how to get my bikes fixed, all the different things that really they didn't have to do. So really, I'm really full of thankfulness and appreciation. Um, there's so many more videos to come and there's also so many people I can thank. I could be here all week um, and especially you guys for listening. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a fantastic New Year. Look after yourself, ride safe and stay curious.